Thanks for joining us this Sunday, folks, on Inside the Valley. Today on the show, we have Leticia Mondragon, and she's here with the Gen Cure, and you are all partnering up with Be The Match. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Good morning. Good morning. Uh, yes, Gene Cure in partnership with Be The Match Mirror Register. We are a nonprofit organization. Our mission is to help save and enhance lives. Every three minutes, someone is diagnosed with a blood cancer, 20 an hour, 480 per day. For many of these patients, this is their last chance of hope, their last mm -hmm. chance for survival. 70% of the patients that reach out to us that are suffering from a blood cancer, such as leukemia, need to find a mirror match outside of their family. So that's why our organization exists. We encourage the community to sign a form and to register on our Be The Match Mirror Registry. It takes less than 10 minutes, quick paperwork, a couple of swabs, and you can potentially be someone's cure for cancer. Wow, and that's amazing. So how often do you have outreach? to the community as far as having people signing up and trying to recruit people to Well, we were actually, we have a very good turnout here in the in El Valle de Rio Grande, here <laughs> in the Rio Grande Valley. I actually had a Mero Drive uh, last night where we actually signed up 31 people. We currently, as we're speaking right now, are having a Mero Registry Drive at Freedom Life Church in Mission, Texas, and we'll be out there until 1.30. Um, I think uh, my main goal is to, of course, encourage the people and educate the community how important it is to be a part of our registry. There's so many misconceptions for and I tell people where I work they right away oh bone marrow registry that's very painful if I'm a match mm -hmm. um, actually now with new technology 75% of all procedures if you are a marrow match for someone that is in need of your help is a peripheral stem cell donation and that's 75% of all the donations now we only see 25% that are actually an outpatient surgical procedure mm -hmm. you're given a general anesthetic if uh, and basically if if you are a match for someone, 75% peripheral stem cell, 25% we do see those outpatient surgical procedures, but that's only if you are a match for an infant mm -hmm. or actually somebody with a very progressive form of cancer. Wow. Now, if somebody wanted to uh, participate and sign up to be a donor, how would that process work? Okay, basically, um, they can go to gencure.org. They can always call me at 361-480-2820 to sign up, or they can even host a Merrill registration drive. Mm -hmm. um, I actually live in Corpus Christi, but I'm the community engagement representative for Corpus Christi, uh, Todo el Valle de Rio Grande, and also Laredo. That is my, my territory. Uh, so I'm here to serve the community. Um, and hoping to sign up more people. Uh, once you sign up, again, it takes less than 10 minutes. One out of every 540 are actually a match for someone. Wow. Um, our organization covers all the cost. We do work around your schedule if you are a match. First step, after signing the consent form, we let you know if you're still interested in committing to be on our registry, mm -hmm. which I hope you would be. Um, then after that, you're uh, taken for a blood sample. And after that blood sample, if you are the perfect match for that person, you're sent actually for complete physical then after that you're recommended to do one of the two procedures it's no cost to that person mm -hmm. and what's really awesome about our organization is that after a year you're able to meet that person face to face wow. and you can match anybody in the world that's amazing so it's anybody then it it's could be anybody wow, yes you can match somebody from out of the country just anywhere like they say you have a, a twin in this world you definitely do and you potentially can be someone's cure for cancer so. which is huge it's yes, amazing it's to amazing. be able to help someone <laughs> now tell me a little bit more about you know you you have covered such a large span of area yes so Laredo Corpus and right here in the Rio Grande now do you see not that many people signing up here that in the Rio Grande? Are they nervous, hesitation? I think, again, a lot of time there's a lot of misconceptions. Again, it goes back to, oh, it's bone marrow. I know there's movies out there. And it used to be where it was just a surgical procedure. Now it's peripheral stem cells. Mm -hmm. My goal is to encourage awareness and to add more people to our registry. Mm -hmm. When we look at the nationwide statistics, 61% of the people that are on our registry are Caucasian. Mm -hmm. Only 10% are Latinos. Wow. So if a, a Latino was, uh, uh, to reach out to us and is in need of a bone marrow transplant, there's going to be slim chances that there is going to be a match for them. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's why it's really important to add people of Latino descent of all ethnicities to our registry uh, because again we live from one day to the next never knowing what's going to occur and we definitely are here to help those in need. Right and I know you had mentioned to me yourself that you you know you are on 
the registry as well. Yes. But you have said you've been on there for a few 18 years. 18 years, right. and, and I've never been called. Exactly. So <laughs> does that happen uh, co often as far as people never being called? So that sometimes they never get called. A lot of times when, when, when people are signing up on a mayor registry drive, they're like, well, if I get called tomorrow, I can't do it. Usually it takes about over four months for all the paperwork to be processed okay. because our main headquarters are actually in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Our office headquarters are in San Antonio. Uh, but you may be called years down the road. I mean, you just never know when you're going to get that call. My sister Rosa has been on the registry for 10 years. She came close to being a match four years ago uh, for a little boy who had leukemia but wasn't the best match. Uh, the requirements to sign up on our registry are 18 to 44, but you're on our registry until you're 61 years of age. So mm -hmm. it's a one-time sign up and you're on there until you're 61 years of age. Um, it's really phenomenal because we actually had a gentleman who was a match right at 61 really? years of age to a girl who was 50 15 years old who lived in Portland, Oregon. He was in San Antonio. They met for the first time. It was amazing. They met in San Antonio where our uh, GenCure headquarters are and BioBridge Global and he couldn't stop crying because he said, my wife and I could never have children, but today mm. I've gained a daughter wow. because of his life-saving effort. So it's really neat to, to meet that person after a year, you're able to meet them face-to-face. -face. We also had another situation where a young lady had signed up on our registry and she was a perfect match for a boy who was 13 at the time. After a year, they met and it was so, so, so neat because even though they had never met, they looked almost exactly really? alike. He could have been her son wow. and it was phenomenal because she loves chocolate. Mm -hmm. He never liked chocolate until it received her bone marrow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so wow. that's what's really neat. So tell us again, you said it's super quick just to get when you're signing up, it's super easy, not scary at all. No, not at all. It's less than 10 minutes. You sign some paperwork. It's a couple of swabs. Then after that, I send it out to our bio repository in Minneapolis, Minnesota. We do follow up with the call because we want the people that are signing up to be committed mm -hmm. if there are called upon because there's been a couple of instances where someone, uh, a patient's family reaches out to us. They go into our register. We find a match, but when we call that person, no, come to think of it, I'm not going to go through with it. Right. And that's that's very sad for the family, very disappointing, disheartening for the family. So um, I try and educate the community when they're signing up that we're hoping that they're committed. Of course, we can't predict where we're going to be years from now, but we're hoping that they would be committed if they are called upon, if they are a match for someone. Well, that's amazing, Leticia. Now, really quick, if they want to sign up, where can they call to get more information? Yes, they can call 361-480-2820. They can go to gencure.org. We can also mail them a consent form and they can mail it back to us. Uh, but if anybody would like to host a mayoral registry drive, any business in the Valle de Rio Grande, please call me again. That number is 361-480-2820. And you can definitely be a part of someone's cure. Thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, folks. Well, when we come back, a fundraiser that is aimed at helping children, but we'll sure to get you in the holiday spirit.